Good morning and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I'm going to do another challenge. So this is a year long challenge, the same as Roxy's, uh, Roxy Creations challenge. Um, by the way, I will be doing her week three, um, being as uh, I did do it and then I had to delete the video because the audio is all wonky. So I have to do it again. So anyway, um, I will be doing that uh, week three with that. But this is a different challenge. This is from Miss Marguerite Miller. And this is a collage weekly planner. So I figured I would um, kind of collage in my old planner that I've already started with you guys. And there's going to be prompts every week. I'm a little behind. She has five weeks out already. And uh, I'm just now starting this. I found it and I found it because of Roxy Creations because I'm watching her because of her Roxy plan. Our, her Roxy challenge, weekly challenge. Oh my gosh, all of these are tongue twisters. So Miss um, Gail is also doing um, the planner challenge. There is a lot of people that are doing the planner challenge. A lot of people that are doing Roxy's challenge. And there is another challenge that I want to do as well. Although that one is definitely going to be a challenge for me because it is slow stitching. And I'm not very good at slow stitching. I'm not sure that I've ever done it. Um, I mean, I've done it, but nothing to brag about or anything like that. So anyway, um, the first week is what we're going to do right now. Okay. So I had to get a little creative with something fast um, because I was thinking a car or a plane or a train. I don't have images of a car or a plane or a train, not that are small enough that I can just like stick on the page. So I got a little creative with that one. I decided to do playing children because I don't know if you guys have children, but my children go 90 to nothing in like two seconds flat. And I'm like, can I bottle your energy and just like sell it? Cause that'd be amazing. Um, so anyway, I decided to do, um, playing children. So I have two images. Um, this one is from Mrs. Coggs and I don't know the collection, but that's where I got this image from. And this one is also don't know the collection, um, but it is from Tsunami Rose. I believe she's got, it's just like a portraits mystery box that you can get. And so um, that's where this came from. And you might be able to see that. Anyway, it's really cute. And on top of that, it's got little baby pigs. And I don't know if you've ever tried to chase a little baby pig, but little baby pigs are super fast too. So there's the super fast, or excuse me, the something fast, a postage stamp. Um, so I did a couple different things. There's actual postage stamps here that I have. But I also grabbed... Where's my other one? I lost it. Mm, I've lost it. Um, anyway, I grabbed a couple of the faux postage stamps that I made uh, last year, I think. Anyway, um, so I grabbed a couple of those because I wanted to utilize um, something that was on the list, but not necessarily exactly on the list. So if uh, getting creative that way, if you don't have postage stamps, make your own. Um, a piece of a map. I got this one here. I just pulled this out of one of the books that I've got. So there's a map. And then there is a border or a frame. So I grabbed this border here. And this is also from a book that I have. I just started ripping pages out of books. Don't mind me. Um, let's see. A portion of a brochure. So this is, a lot of people have asked me. Um, I, it, 
kind of random, I know, but um, they asked me like what I'm talking about when I tell them that I'm going to Lowe's to get my groceries. Um, we have a Lowe's grocery store here and it's actually really amazing. Anyway, this is their flyer, their brochure. Um, and so it's actually really cool. So I wanted to use that. Um, and then the last one is actually a bonus. And that's basically, I actually learned that today. Um, what the bonus is for is if you can't do something here, like say for instance, you don't have any maps. Well, you can replace the map with the bonus item. Or you could just do all six items together. And that's what I was going to do. I was just going to do all six items. Um, and the bonus is a form or a portion of a form. And so I have these um, Ideals magazines. And I went to, to the back of one of them and I was going to pull out the form, but it got stuck. So I was like, well, we'll just grab the whole page. So I grabbed the whole page and then we're going to try to get this off without destroying it because I kind of need the form on the other side. So anyway, uh, I'm going to ask you guys the infamous question. How is everyone doing? <laughs> I know I ask you guys that all the time. A lot of us do. I mean, it's like, it's, it's what we do. We always ask like how everyone's doing. Um, but yeah, so, oh my gosh, I am so excited. I got my new sewing machine. Uh, uh, I don't really have a way to show you <laughs> unless I'm going to pick it up from over there and then like bring it over here and it's not this small. It's like, it's pretty big. So, um, anyway, I got the brother sewing machine. I did not get the, uh, project runway one because they wanted like some $600 for it, even on Amazon. And I was like, eh, no, I need one now and I need one to be not four or five, so five. No, no, no. Anyway, this is the form. So we're going to use that. Um, so I think I'm actually going to put that right there. I think I'm going to actually put this as the background and kind of collage around it. What do you think about that? Or, um, 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 so anyway, um, the one that I got is, um, it's the CS6000i. It's basically, it's the cheapest version they had. Um, of that, of that kind, I mean, um, cause I wanted the ones with the pretty little stitches and I wanted the ones, um, basically just that worked. And I, I did want to stick with brother, um, cause my last sewing machine was a brother and it, I mean, it lasted me 10 years at least, but I mean, that's not too shabby for a modern sewing machine. All right, so there is this little guy here. So I'm wondering, should I try to collage? I guess it is collage, so it's not really thinking about it or anything like that. It's just doing it. So, all right. No thinking. No thinking. All right, I'm going to have to make a new thumbnail for the Marguerite Miller's challenge because I have one for Roxy Creations for her challenges. Um, so now I'm going to make one for Miss Marguerite Miller as well. That way you guys know in the future. 
when you see that thumbnail, it's time for another Marguerite challenge. All right, so we're just going to set this over here. And I'm going to glue this down. I don't know why my watch is like on silent somehow. I don't know what that's all about. Like I've been getting notifications all day, but it's like on silent. I didn't even know you could turn your watch on silent, <laughs> which is kind of good because I mean, that's, it's good to know how to do that. And again, I don't know how to do a lot of stuff. If it's tucky, I don't know how to do a lot of it. That's what my husband and my son are for. They do all the techie stuff. All right, so here is the form. Okay, and now that's gonna be our backdrop. All right, and so this one here, I really wanted to use her, but I kinda like him too. And this, these guys here. Like, that's what I'm saying. I mean, they've got really cute things. I like him. actually going to save these um, because I'm going to need barcodes in another, another challenge, another week. So I'm going to save this and put that over there. All right. So let's grab her. Got to pay attention to make sure I'm in frame. I know that when I'm doing the beading is when I'm really not paying attention to whether I'm in frame. Uh, but, oh, my meats. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so funny. Um, but I still want to make sure that I'm still in frame. And I'm just kind of going around the picture. I'm just tearing them out. I'm not trying to, you know, get them perfect or anything. I'm just, uh, I'll probably keep this part here. And you'll discover that some produce looks different. It's okay to like it. <laughs> okay. I like produce. We actually went to Lowe's <laughs> tonight, actually. Um, are you going to let go? Okay. And then this guy here. And then this lady here. And we may not use all of these. We do have to use some of them, though. 
at least one of them, because that is the challenge. All right, so here's our border and here's our map. Alright, and I'm just going to tear everything. I'm not too worried about it being all perfect. Um, I think that's kind of the glory of a collage is it's just, it's kind of like a glue book, but different. And I mean, I guess I'm like making this into my glue book, um, this planner all right so let's go with um Let's put you up there and put you down here. I like that. Okay. You up there. Okay. And then. So as it sits right now, I'm only doing two of the weekly challenges, but I do have plan to do the third. I'm just scared of it, I think. <laughs> oh, you're pretty. Okay, let's make you pop out just a little bit because you blend in. So let's make you not blend in. Okay. Yeah, there we go. So anyway, um, do any of you slow stitch? I have definitely seen it kind of growing. Um, at least in this community, it's growing. Um, over the past few months, I believe it has kind of gained popularity. Not, not to say that, you know, people haven't done it in the past, but it's becoming more, um, publicly known that, you know, people are doing it, which I think is kind of cool. It's like another little... thing to do. All right, let's figure out where to put you. All Okay, so I started watching a show last night. I actually took a break last night <laughs> for the first time in like months. Um, I went and sat down on my couch and I was like, you know what? I am going to watch some TV. So that's what I did. Um, and I found this show. It's a... Uh, it's called LA's Finest. I'm a little disappointed, though, because they canceled the show after two seasons, um, 
which kind of stinks because I kind of like the show. Um, but it's a spinoff to Bad Boys. Um, Martin Lawrence's um, sister, uh, Marcus, Marcus Barnett, his sister, Sid, has um, joined the LAPD. And she is, um, I think I'm going to ink this too. Uh, anyway, she, she has a partner and, um, it's kind of funny because if you've seen bad boys or bad boys two or any of that, then you have, then you know, the correlation between like the partnerships and how that works and whatnot within the, the franchise. Right. So in this show, LA's finest, it's, it's humorous because, um, a lot of the quirks that happen between the partnerships, whether it's the girls or the guys, because there's a set of guy partners as well. And whether it's the girls or the guys, there's like little quirks and whatnot. And it's just, it's really funny to watch. Um, I really enjoyed the show. Uh, I'm a little sad though, because like I said, they canceled it after the second season, but the second season isn't on Netflix yet. I don't know when it will be on Netflix. Um, the first season I think aired in 2019. Um, but yeah, I actually watched the preview for the Bridgerton show that everybody's like, you got to watch that. You got to watch that. I watched the preview for it and I was less than thrilled. I was like, what? Nah, I'm good. <laughs> maybe i'll give it a shot i don't know but it just did not it did not seem very appealing to me at all and i was like oh what in the world is the hype on this oh it's crazy anyway um my watch keeps going off but it's like crazy i don't know why it's silent anyway um so i didn't watch it I didn't watch it, but I did watch like six episodes of LA's Finest. Um, I'm telling you, man, I took a break and I was just like, I was lounging on the couch for six hours. Well, it was like kind of not really six hours, but it was a culmination throughout the day type of thing. Cause I can't sit still for that long. I am constantly moving around. Even if I'm just, even if I'm sitting on the couch, I still have to be moving. Like I have to do something. I don't know. It's weird. Um, I mean, it's not entirely weird. I know why I'm like that. Um, cause this thing that I got, it's, uh, it's called psychothematic disorder. It's a type of depression. Anyway. Um, it, uh, it actually, um, has similar side effects. Um, or similar symptoms rather, uh, as ADHD. And it was kind of funny because I was talking to my brother one day and he was like, have you ever been tested for ADHD? I was like, no, you need to go get tested. <laughs> so I was like, okay. So anyway, I went to my doc and, uh, I was just like, Hey, my brother thinks I have ADHD. <laughs> and she's like, you do. I was like, wait, what? She's like, you do, but you don't. And I was like, what does that mean? She's like, you have the symptoms of ADHD, but you don't actually have um, the diagnosis um, because the reason you have the symptoms is because of the psychothematic disorder. I was like, Ew. well, that makes sense, I guess. All right, we're going to put you up in the corner. Mm, maybe. Mm. Oh, we can put you right there. That's cool. Yeah, let's do that. Whee! So anyway, that's why I can't really sit still, I guess. I don't know. Um, there's a stamp. I'm going to put you right there. Oh, look at that. It's an airplane. <laughs> and I was just saying I didn't have an airplane. That's funny. 
We'll just do all kinds of fast stuff on this one, huh? Alright. Alright, let's put you down there. Ah! Oh man, are you? Alright, we can use this faux stamp too. I think that would be cute. And I just made this out of a ticket. Alright, what else do we have that I need to use? I think actually that's it. I think we did everything. Um, uh, the form is back here. Something fast is the children and the airplane. The postage stamp is that and that. Um, we've got some more postage stamps back here. Uh, let's see. Decorative frame or border. Got that. Uh, pieces of a brochure. Got that. We got the form. Yeah, we got everything, I think. So I don't remember where these are from, but they're definitely not English. Well, they might be English, English, but... Oh, that one's English. Oh, that one is too. I think that's what I saw, and I was just like, wait, what is that? I don't know. But let's put it down somewhere. Bloop. Voila. Yeah, let's put another one over here. Put another one up here. Why not? And let's ink the edges a little bit. And then And then the last one here. The edges on this one. Actually, I think. Oh, wait, there's one too. I still think that's funny. Oh, my mates! Because he's carrying a bag full of his meats. Alright, so. Let's put this one. I really like this script on here, so I really want to try to use this. So let's do that. Okay. And then let's put this one here. Like that. So yeah, y'all have to let me know what you think about these uh, challenges. Like, are you trying them out too? 
I would really be interested to see you guys, um, what you're doing for the challenges. All right. And this one here. Hey, come back. Hey, come back. I need you to be still. Bleep. Voila. All right, we're going to save you guys for the next time. Bye. Oh, that's really cool. I like that. I think it turned out really cool. So anyway, yeah, let me know if you guys are doing the challenge. Um, if you are doing the challenge, make sure you put hashtag CW planner and then the week that you're doing it, which this is week one for me. So yeah, I think that it turned out really cute. Um, and anyway, um, thank you guys so much for watching. And I hope this inspires you to take part in the challenge as well. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.